It's important to be sure with your drip line that you flush all the debris that might be in the, in the pipes out before your summer watering season. Find the end of your pipe, the part with the figure eight on it, open that up, open the pipe, and then let it run for one to two minutes. All right, we're gonna turn the water on here. Take a look at this drip line and see if we see any geysers or uh, broken emitters or cut pipes. Aha, we got a geyser here. We gotta make sure we flag that because when we turn the water off, we're not gonna know where on that drip pipe the leak is. So let's take a peek, see if we find anything else. All right, you can see here, we've definitely got a hole in the drip tubing. All right, let's flag it. We'll come back and repair it when the water's off. All right, now that the water's off, we've got our flag here so we know where the problem is. We've got our little first aid kit. In that, it's got some extra emitters. It's got some goof plugs to fix holes in a connector, all the tools we might need. So let's pull this out, pull the mulch away, see what we've got here. We have an emitter here and it looks like it just lost its top. So in my first aid kit, I always have a few extra parts. This particular one just needs a little flag. So we're gonna put that back in here and there we go. That flag emitter is fixed. It's now gonna drip just one gallon per hour. For this repair, we're gonna use a goof plug. There's a hole here and there's no plant. So we don't need any watering. So what we do, these little guys, this is a goof plug. You're gonna put the small end into the hole that's in that tubing that's watering where there's no plants. I like to hold on to it with a little pliers, makes it a little easier for me. Take it, push it into the tubing, and there you go, it's fixed. Let's turn the water on and check our repair, make sure it doesn't leak. Our repair is good, there's no water. Just give a quick example of what happens when you get a shovel cut in your drip line, roots from plants will actually grow into your drip line and block the water flow. So instead of climbing up on the slope here and show you how to repair, we're just gonna take two pieces of drip pipe as if we'd cut it with our shovel and then we're gonna reconnect it together. You need a simple connector and a little bit of elbow grease. You'll feel it catch and there you go, it's attached. It needs to connect to the other end so that you'll have a full tube, same thing, using your connector and the empty piece of a pipe. Slowly kind of get it in. There's a little bit of a barb in there, so you have to work it back and forth. Connected. That's all there is to it. You can repair that yourself.